Who's gonna be on top? And then Oh, baby, baby, we belong together. We safe. belong together. Okay, well, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to my so-called style. I am your go-to style friend, Levi. This is a segment that I'm super excited to share with you. This is called, drum roll please, Mick Models. That's right. This is a segment where we get to know models in the industry, what the hell they're doing, how they got there, all the while we're eating McDonald's. Without further ado, I wanna welcome my first guest, Someone who I would say is the most stylish model I've ever worked with. I'm very honored, <laughs> very honored to have her as my first guest. Please welcome Morgan White. Paris, but... Hi. Hi, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna head to Mickey D's and get some snacks, and then we're gonna have a chat. So let's hop in the car. Hi. <laughs> we're gonna eat McDonald's. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Models who eat McDonald's. It's a real thing. There you go. Thank All right, you. thank you so much. <laughs> Wait, here we go. Oh my gosh, there's nothing more amazing than the smell of hot McDonald's fries. Like. <laughs> Okay, so Fuck. Morgan is going for This is an M&M McFlurry with extra M&Ms. Yum. And I'm gonna go for it with That's nothing McDonald's fancy, fries. just fries. Wait, I gotta have one. It turns into like mm. an ASMR video. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually an ASMR video where you hear me chewing soggy fries. No, you can't Load of that, get a load mm. of that. As Morgan said, we've known each other for like, Three years or two, so. Two, three years? Yeah, two or three yeah. years. She quickly became a muse because, let's be honest, she is like so freaking stylish. This girl can walk down the street and turn heads. This freaking, this is like a... It's from the 60s. <clears throat> it's tough and to I be a like host. I didn't realize how hard it was you to fold these like shoes. You realize like all of the like different things you do, like your hands. Yeah, and the point of this segment is to, you know, is to just get to know a little bit about the modeling industry and a unique perspective, of course. Can you explain to our friends and our viewers what is the difference between commercial modeling and editorial modeling? Because a lot of people feel confused when they hear the term modeling because essentially that's so broad. There's commercial, there's editorial, there's fashion, runway. I think a lot of people who wanted to get into the industry, oftentimes people are misperceiving who they are. You've you've evolved, like you've had yeah. a lot of changes, a lot of different agencies, you've had different haircuts, you've had different style, and mm -hmm. all of these things affect how you're essentially being sold through the for industry, sure. right? Like who's yeah. gonna like the look? There's kind of a different territory for the kind of market that you wanna be in. Like LA is commercial mm. based, meaning there's a lot of e-com. There are some like editorial, like higher fashion stuff, but that's usually more Europe, more New York. Right. It's e it's e expanding. Yeah, it's expanding a lot in LA, but LA is pretty commercial. So you're getting actual commercials. You're getting that's TV like, and print commercial stuff. Yeah, right? and then you're getting like big brands like Target and McDonald's. <laughs> just more like commercially branded. Big box. Kind of big. Companies. Big more of like selling to the masses type deal. Also a lot of e-com, a lot of LA based brands and a lot of like, there's a lot of swim out here and more like mm. kind of like California girl type stuff. And that can also affect like how your agency is essentially 
packaging you, right? Because that's, mm -hmm, for sure. A, there's the market, whether you're in the commercial market versus the more high fashion market. Mm -hmm. Then there's the agency, oh, thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Can you hear me now? <laughs> then there's the agency who essentially is in charge of presenting yeah. you. You've been through lots of changes. I've been through a lot of agencies because I think I started so young, not really knowing where I was grounded and mean, mm -hmm. where I wanted to go. It was nice at first because whatever the agency said, I just kind of went that way. But I think if you already kind of have your own image of what type of work you want to be doing, whether that's editorial or commercial, you want to keep an, a lookout for when you're signing with an agency, what's their vibe? What are mm. they pushing models to? Mm -hmm. What kind of world do they live in? What kind of work can are you, they can be compatible getting with that? Right. So that's a big, yeah. that's really useful advice. Cause I think, you know, it's kind of like having an acting agent or anyone who needs an agent or manager to kind of be their conduit to the industry yeah. they they need to be trustworthy they need to essentially put your best out there because yeah. if they're looking at you and they're trying to put you in a little box well that's you don't have space not to fun. grow and they can be a great agency and you can be right. booking stuff but if you're not getting the type of work you want then you it's not step fun back from either it because it's a lot of work it's not just like you go get glammed up and you get paid like you're running around to castings which are basically like job interviews and you're going right. like some people go to a few a day and you're like driving all over LA, you're going to see all these people, you're spending an hour in the car to like have it's two training. seconds at a casting. So yeah. it's a lot of work. So you want to make sure that you're giving the agent something that they want, but you're getting what you want in return. Let's take a peek at some of her pictures from the past. <laughs> You didn't know her height. All my measurements. Now you know. <laughs> yeah, so explain what a comp card is because some people don't even know so what So a comp card is. is just basically a picture of you that you hand out to clients when you go on castings, which are basically like job interviews. And it right. just has like your measurements and like a few pictures and your name and the agency. You can't only do and make a living off of just high fashion stuff. Like you right. have to kind of do all of it and mix all of it in if you're trying to really make it a living. But you don't necessarily have to know which direction you're going if you're open to all of it. If you stay open to the opportunities and then right. you kind of learn as you go, that's okay as well. Or if you have your own vibe, like bring that to the table. Don't be too crazy about it, yeah. <laughs> but you can for sure like be yourself and, and be original. Yeah. This brings us to the end of our segment. <laughs> She finishes my sentences. This brings us to the end of our first segment for Mick Models. And uh, I hope you guys learned a little bit about the industry and about Morgan. Thank you so much for sharing. Are there any final words you want to say? Like and subscribe. Oh, well, yeah. We got it. She's a better YouTuber than me. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment the section channel. below. Yeah. Tell us how much you love it. Comments. If you guys have questions about the industry, please leave a comment and ask a question because we will respond. You heard it here first, folks, here on McModels. Thanks so much for tuning in. You guys, it's so Bye, hard to say bitches. goodbye. <laughs>